Good evening. Have you come to sit and wait with me? I'll enjoy your company. Misery loves company. That's what you say, isn't it? Those words are true tonight. I may try to hide my pain and stop my tears, but the truth is, no one is more miserable than I. My name is Mary Magdalene. I was a friend of Jesus, an intimate. Much has been made of our relationship, many questions asked and assumptions made. But tonight, it is enough to say that I loved him and he loved me. And that my heart is breaking tonight because he has been taken from me forever. Are you comfortable? I think you are. You have many comforts in your life, not the least of which is this. You know how this story ends. You've already heard the good news many, many times. And once you have heard that mind-blowing, life-changing good news, it's very difficult to unhear it. But for you to feel the full weight of this night, I ask you, I urge you, to give up your comfort for a while. Close your eyes and try. Imagine yourself with me in this inky darkness of unknowing. Feel the fathomless agony of loss. Loss of life, loss of love, loss of hope. Be with me in your mind's eye, though you too may stumble on stones in the darkness. They have taken Jesus from us. Ask yourself now, as I ask myself, is this the bitter end of everything? Oh.
Why do I suffer so tonight? I'll tell you a story. When I first met Jesus, I was a very different woman. My life had been hard. I was alone, and I wrestled day and night with coiling, hissing demons that possessed my mind and soul. I was half crazed from them, and I longed to be free. Then I heard miraculous stories of a traveling healer. I walked a long, hot, and dusty walk to present myself to Jesus. As I approached, fear filled me. Would he rebuke me? Would he humiliate me and cast me away as an unclean sinner, a sinner who deserved such suffering? Many others had. But not Jesus. Jesus turned to me and looked into my eyes, and when he did, it was as if he looked into the deepest part of my very soul. He saw past my mistakes, past my weakness, and he saw something valuable, some pure light of goodness in me. <laughs> in me! And my private miracle was this. In that moment, I could see that light in myself, too. A glimmer of hope, a light that reflected, however dimly, his light. Can you, can you imagine that feeling? The demons couldn't stand his light, and they fled from me, cursing. I fell to Jesus' feet, overcome with gratitude, and I wept. With my tears, I washed his feet, and with my hair, I dried them. A Pharisee saw this and was disgusted. But Jesus said to this self-righteous man, You have given me nothing. She has given me tears and kisses. She has shown me great love, and therefore her sins have been forgiven. I fell in love, and because I fell in love that day is why I suffer tonight.